Welcome back. We have a new member of the ABC7 News team, and I wanted to introduce you to our new morning anchor, Jacqueline Matter. It's great to have you with us. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm happy to be here. Loving the Sun Coast, loving Sarasota in this area. It is beautiful. Well, good. <laughs> yeah. So we thought since we have a couple of minutes to talk with you, everybody might want to know a little bit about yeah, you yeah. and your background. So I understand you came to us from North Carolina. I did. Greenville, North Carolina. Went to UNC Chapel Hill um, for undergrad, originally from California, but was there for two years and covered the coast of North Carolina and Greenville area. So. Oh, wow. And also yeah. you represented North yeah. Carolina. I understand I you've done some pageants. <laughs> Tell yes. us about that. Um, I've done beauty pageants since I was really young um, and I won Miss North Carolina International uh, oh. back in April of this past year. Competed at Miss International in Jacksonville, Florida actually in July. Um, I made the top 10 at Miss International um, speaking on my platform of PTSD awareness. Mm -hmm. My dad um, is in the military. I come from a family background of five generations of military men and so it's very near and dear to my heart to talk about PTSD and awareness not only for um, victims themselves but for families and children and you know when their parents come back they don't often understand exactly mm -hmm. um, what exactly is going on with their yeah. service member or loved one and so it's very um, near and dear to my heart I'm actually working to start my own nonprofit organization called Broken by Battle to help um, that's amazing so pro uh, provide support for our families. That's that great. Yes, and so. then while you were in North Carolina, you got to do some reporting, getting down <laughs> yes. and dirty, and we're looking forward to you doing that here <laughs> yeah, on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Literally that dirty. Picture. Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, of course, in North Carolina, if you're going to wear waders out at the beach, it better be in camo, of course, <laughs> because it's North Carolina. Um, it, and Greenville is pronounced Greenville, but they call it Greenville because everyone there has <laughs> yeah. a country accent. So it. there was that. That was a pretty interesting story. And then I had hundreds of sea turtles that I always reported on um, probably about every three months I would say <laughs> there was sea turtle releases sea turtle hatchings um, you had a lot of cold stunned sea turtles that would get mm -hmm. stuck out there so that was a big well, issue. You'll be right at home. Yeah. <laughs> right a lot of sea turtles here. I love I do a sea, lot turtles. Of sea turtle stories here. Yeah today. they're like one of my favorite sea animals actually um, other than dolphins so I love sea turtles. Well good and speaking <laughs> of animals I know you are a big animal yes, lover. Tell I us am. about your baby at home. Yeah I have a dog named Marley. She is six Aww. years old now. Aww. That's her. Um, she went to college with me. I always tell people she has so much gray hair because she went to college <laughs> with me. She's she used smiler. to be all black. Yeah. She's a smiling girl. She um, currently has her Christmas dress on back at home and my Aww. mom is like, you poor, poor animal. But she's... You are going to fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> I love dogs. I love we any crazy kind of animal. Yes. We have a lot of crazy dog people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. love them <laughs> so oh, much. Great. All right, we're going to take a couple minutes and do something fun. Okay. Uh, you know, the whole ask the question and make you come up with an answer okay. on the spot. So if okay. you have 30 minutes of free time, how would you pass the time? 30 minutes of free time, either probably walk Marley or try and get in a quick like workout if I could or clean. I'm one of those type oh, wow. of people I like to clean a lot and I don't like things not being organized. You're so hired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever go don't look desk, around the newsroom. Like piles yeah. everywhere. Oh, like no. today I was trying to clean over my neighbor's desk and I was yeah. like, hey, you can come over my desk anytime <laughs> because that's the mess. Lord help her. She works with Don. This could be oh, ugly God. for her. <laughs> Do you untie your shoes when you take them off? Certainly not, no. And that's no? my problem. Sometimes when I'm running at the gym, I forget because I just slide my shoe like right on. And then like my shoe halfway comes off when I'm running or on the treadmill Aww. or something. And I'm oh like, my oh gosh. gosh. All right, now I need to know. Shoes untied, yes or no? I don't untie them. Yes or no? Kick them off. No. Nope. Yep. Yes or no? No. What's wrong right with you people? I untie <laughs> my shoes it's every single you. time. But that's why we're always late because we have to then untie them oh, to yeah. put them back on. And yeah. it's, it hooks the back of your shoes mm -hmm. when you shove your feet it's in them. So Come bad on. For your shoes I know. I don't know. I'm such a nagging mother. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, make sure you wake up with Jacqueline each and every morning with Good Morning Suncoast. She and Don Brennan will be there together from 5 to 7. Welcome yeah, to Suncoast. Thank you guys so much. Coming up next, our Suncoast View gift guide continues for our four-legged friends.